the doctor there at the local hospital from urology came in and, and sat with us. He basically said, you know, get your things in order and uh, maybe go on a vacation. I'm convinced that if it wasn't for the team at Emory, I wouldn't be here today. One of the oncologists had heard me speaking about the treatment of advanced kidney cancer at a conference, and one of his colleagues said, I don't know what to do with this patient. I've sent them to another hospital. The doctor says there's nothing that we can do. And he said, I've got the place for you. Sure enough, uh, one day Dr. Master called us. We were expecting that we'd heard from the oncologist. And uh, he kind of calmed our fears. Once that we'd heard that he, he thought there was some good hope, uh, I, I, I was about, it was about the first time that I really got emotional. Mike, for example, had a huge kidney cancer a kidney cancer that had grown into the vena cava, but then also that very same cancer had grown up past the abdominal cavity into the chest cavity, into the heart itself. But Mike took it one step further. He actually had cancer that was growing down towards his toes as well and had completely obstructed the entirety of his great vein of his body, the vena cava, from as low as you possibly could to as high as you possibly could. Didn't get any harder than that. Here at Emory, we've done some pioneering work looking at the difference in the actual blood vessel formation of these vena cava tubes. One of the true benefits of coming to Emory if you have a kidney tumor would be that Winship Cancer Institute is the only um, NCI designated cancer center in Georgia. We have a great team of professionals to take care of you when you come to Emory. If you were to come to me with a small kidney tumor, we could treat it in a less invasive fashion. Everything from having it done with a needle, for example, versus a laparoscopic approach versus robotically, versus if you come in with a more advanced tumor, we've got you know, partners or people in other departments that can take care of your, your problem by a true expert. Mike was 52 years old, that's too young to give up. Knowing that Dr. Master cared as much as he did, and you could hear that in the things that he said, we feel blessed to have a second chance. To the best of our knowledge, there is no center in the world that is doing as many of these cases on a regular basis as we here at Emory are doing. After seeing the work here and seeing Dr. Master, that he has to be the world leader at what he does. And I, I don't know that I could have gotten any better care anywhere.